Hello, my amazing ninja subscribers, and welcome back to another episode of the Survival Island series with my good friend Cody Clutch Thunder, as well as this gentleman right here. I just gave him a name. His name is called The Magician because he likes magic tricks, and I love magic tricks as well. So maybe he can teach us uh, some really cool magic tricks in the future episodes. But guys, let's go ahead. Oh, why? Look at you. You're quite the gentleman today, but let's go ahead and say good morning uh, to Cody Clutch Thunder over here. It's about to be an amazing journey, guys. So much fun, and hopefully no creepers as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and say good morning to the Cody Clutch Thunder. He is the ultimate ninja that tends to die occasionally, but nonetheless, he is the ninja. And what is going on? Oh, good morning, Cody Jr. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Knock, 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 knock. Uh, is anybody, is anybody home? H hello, oh, oh, good morning, good morning, <laughs> good morning, did I disturb your peace? Did I, oh, come on, did, are you, were you still sleeping? Uh, were you still sleeping, sir? I'm sorry, here, have some, have some breakfast, I might help you out some, have some, a yummy steak, and, uh, we can get our day started. Come on, Cody, it's time to go see who the newest member of the Island of Ninjas is today, so... I know this is one of my favorite parts of each and every episode, is going to the Island of Ninjas and seeing who the newest subscriber is. So, if you guys want to participate, make sure first and foremost that you are an amazing ninja subscriber. Press that subscribe button. Make sure you smack the subscribe button. And the next thing you need to do is leave a lovely, very kind comment down below. Because everybody loves positivity. It's a great quality to have, especially on amongst the ninjas. So let's go ahead and kill some of these cows real quick, get some of that XP, because your boy Stealth needs some XP, because he's been using XP on a lot of stuff lately, like uh, name tags, and I've been using it on enchantments, and just, I man, I need more XP, guys, I need more XP, Stealth must have the XP. So, okay, Cody, let's go ahead and see who the newest member is, it's time to spin, it's time to get a little, a little dizzy, oh man, oh gosh. I'm about to stumble, I'm about to trip, oh man, okay. <laughs> the newest member of the Island of Ninjas is Firewolf. Welcome aboard the Island of Ninjas, Firewolf. I just really appreciate all the support, all the kindness, and just you are an amazing ninja as well. So welcome aboard, and it's so great to have you. So. Uh, Cody, uh, today we're going to do a few things. Some really fun activities are going to be involved today. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and show the ninjas uh, what type of progress we've made over there uh, with the horse stable because we've been working on it. Uh, we haven't finished it yet, so it's still like a project uh, that we're consistently working on. However, we did want to show you guys what we've been doing with the stable and, you know, our future plans as well. And then after that, we're actually going to work on a horse parkour, which is pretty Pretty cool, it's actually going to be our first mini game uh, that we're introducing in this survival series and I really want to do more mini games in this survival series because let's face it man, uh, mini games are amazing, it's a lot of fun especially when you have your friends involved as well. So. If you guys have any like cool mini game suggestions, uh, make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, but today is going to be a horse parkour. So I hope you're ready, Ghost, uh, because we have some tough competition. Uh, Cody has his horse as well. And I'm not sure, does your horse have a name yet? Do Does he have a name yet? Let's go ahead and go over here and see. Uh, does your horse have a name yet he doesn't have a name yet hopefully you don't call him cody jr because I, I still feel like that name is bad luck cody that's a very bad luck name we're gonna have to uh, find a better name so guys leave a a name suggestion uh, for cody's uh, horse in the comment section as well what's a good name uh, for this horse he seems very uh, agile as well as very athletic so uh, uh yeah guys let's figure out a name for his horse uh, besides cody jr okay so let me go ahead and get on ghost over here before he disappears. Uh, he is very, very, uh, very quick as well. And uh, Cody, uh, let's go ahead and go all the way over to the stable uh, so we can show the amazing ninjas uh, what type of progress we've made and uh, sort of our future plans uh, for this stable as well. So uh, this stable is going to be really big, and I'm intending on, like, adding bedrooms and stuff like that. And this stable is also going to be used 
for when we finally find a mushroom island. Now, I'm not sure when that's going to happen because more than likely this mushroom island is going to be very far away. And here's Crazy Girl's horse over here just relaxing, watching some Netflix, eating pancakes, having the time of his life. Oh, hey, 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 time out, time out. You can't go ahead and you can't go ride in other people's horses, Cody. You can't go ride in other people's horses. That's like taking someone's car right there. Whoa, that's a very athletic horse. That's a very athletic horse. Oh my goodness. How many blocks can that horse jump? Let's let's figure that out right now. How many blocks can this horse jump? <laughs> I'm contradicting myself. I'm like, don't go on the horse. Actually, let's see. One, two, three, four. Can we do... Let's see. Let's try four. Let's try four. See if you can jump. Oh, nice. Can we try it? Let's try five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you do five, Cody? Can, can the horse jump five blocks? Oh, so close, so close. Ah, oh, all right. Well, put the horse back, okay? Let's put the horse back. Uh, give him some rest. He he was watching Netflix in peace, eating pancakes in peace until you went up and disturbed him. So, uh, guys, yeah, so far the uh, stable obviously needs a roof, uh, but I was thinking about adding, like, a, a, a second floor uh, for some bedrooms and such, but, um... Yeah, so far it's looking pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna have some rooms in here, and we're gonna have some more rooms in here. And look, you have you have like a really nice view right here. So we might have some like glass windows or some type of uh, I don't know, uh, just an area where you can relax and sip on some iced tea. Uh, it's gonna be glorious, and I seriously can't wait. But Cody. I think you know what time it is, bro. All right, it's time for you to leave the horse alone, first of all. Uh, but it's time to work on this horse parkour, bro, okay? Uh, so make sure your horse is healthy. Make sure your horse is ready because you have some tough competition. Ghost is very competitive, and he likes to win as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, you're taking the ninja path. All right, I'm following you. He's taking... Oh. Oh, he's taking the ninja path. Oh, man, can I catch up? Can I catch up? Oh, he has a head lead, but we're going to catch up eventually. But, um... Yeah, so this is going to be quite the interesting horse parkour because uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use trees as sort of the platform. So this is going to be a really interesting take on the parkour itself, and I think it's a really creative way as well. So, uh, Cody, let's go ahead and just, uh, uh, you know, put our horses down for a little bit, let them relax, let them uh, get some uh, some rest before the uh, parkour begins and then uh, we will uh, in the meantime we will construct the actual parkour so i'm actually gonna what do i have over here do we have a fence post anywhere do we have a fence post we have one right there but i'm actually gonna put one a little bit closer so let me go ahead and make a crafting table real quick um move this crafting table like so place that right there and we're gonna make a uh, a fence post uh, so oh Actually, let me move this fence post down a little bit lower uh, right here. So, uh, put the fence post and then Ghost, please, please stop hopping on my horse like that, sir. Ghost is very shy. So, uh, guys, uh, we are actually going to do uh, the uh, parkour from like around Cody's house, like right here all the way over there. Now, hopefully we have enough material. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, Cody, let's go inside my house and see exactly what we have to work with. So... Uh, like I said, we're actually going to use the uh, trees as the platform. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, the trees we will be using are dark oak saplings. So uh, the dark oak is actually a perfect uh, a perfect tree uh, to use for the, the basically the platform because it's wide and it's a large tree as well. So this is perfect. Uh, Cody, you take half. I will take half as well. And let's grab some dirt. Obviously, we need to start off with the dirt in order to uh, actually uh, grow some trees. So uh, I think we'll need some bones as well some bone meal uh, so let me go ahead and grab some bones as well and then that way we can sort of uh, grow the trees a little bit quicker so I uh, go over here and uh, grab we have 41 bones so that should be a sufficient amount for now uh, but let's go ahead and go uh, start working on this platform uh, while we still have some daylight so uh, I'll take like uh, one row and then Cody you can take another path and let's try and make this like as straight as possible so let's go maybe around where your house is like I'm saying maybe like right here and then let's just you know build all the way to that edge and then we'll plant some trees uh, on this pathway so this will be perfect uh cody will um go let's see one two go like right here uh is that two no we need to go another one right here is four so let's go like right there and then you know just start you know building straight and let's see how far we can go so 
Yes, uh, unfortunately though, uh, the, the negative side about the uh, uh, dark oak saplings is that it requires four saplings in order to make a single dark oak tree. Uh, but like I said, they are extremely large trees and I just love them. I think they're one of my you know most favorite recent features that was introduced in Title Update 31 is those dark oak sapling trees and of course the dark oak wood as well. So it's starting to get dark. I'm not sure if we're going to sleep or not. We might as well just continue going with it and then hopefully the creepers will leave us alone and I see uh, Cody over there underwater his nickname is Aquaman as well as the speed demon but I I, I don't know man I feel like um, I feel like lately C crazy girl has been uh, known to be the speedster so she might uh, have taken that title from you uh, to be known as the speed demon but uh, at least you're known as Aquaman uh, and uh, you know you like to fish as well so I, I think you're a fish whisperer as well well, you could, uh, you could sort of talk to the fish as well. So that might be your new nickname. And uh, <laughs> so you're Fish Man or you're the Fish Whisperer. And I will be known as, I'm not sure what I'm known as. I'm just the ninja, I guess. The ninja master. But um, all right, let's see how far we are now. We're actually really close. So, oh, do you need more dirt? How are you looking on dirt uh, as of right now? It, there might be more dirt in that. Oh, I'm sorry. There might be more dirt inside my house, but uh, hopefully you have a little bit more dirt because uh, we do need uh, quite a bit of dirt in order to um, uh, finish this parkour, but at least I'm almost there. I am almost there, and uh, like I said, this requires a tremendous amount of dirt, unfortunately, uh, but the good news is uh, what we could start doing after is we'll break apart like uh, the um, some of the rows and then we'll leave some spaces uh, that way it's not too easy we don't want to make this parkour too easy uh, however we don't want to make it impossible for our horses as well it has to be you know you have to find the perfect balance in order to make a really good parkour you have to find that you know you know even balance uh, between easy as well as difficult so I'm almost there. Uh, let's go. As, let's go and see if we can find more dirt. I'm not sure how much Cody got exactly, but uh, uh, we'll see if we have more dirt. If not, uh, we'll have to go mine for some more dirt. So let's go ahead and uh, since we're basically back on land, uh, we should probably sleep as well because you know nobody wants to deal uh, with the creepers, especially your boy Stealth over here. So I think it's about time to sleep. Uh, I do have another bed. So Cody, if you want to use that bed right there, it looks like he already did. Uh, I will go ahead. And I'll go ahead and use my bed upstairs and we do not have any more dirt. So this is not good Do I have any dirt in my chest right here? Please say I do. Oh, we got 50 right here. So uh, I think um, Crazy girl might have some dirt as well. So uh, I'll, actually I'm about to sleep. No worries, Cody I'm about to sleep and I don't have a bed. Let me go make one I don't know where my other bed is. I think I left it outside. I think that's what happened. I left my bed outside. So let me grab some wool and I will make a new bed uh, right now. So go over here, make a bed. Actually, I'm going to make a few beds. That way, uh, you know, we just have multiple beds whenever you need one. So I'm going to place the bed down and good night, Cody. Good. Good night, Cody. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let the creepers bite as well. Oh, oh, the morning's already begun. So all right, buddy, so I have 50 blocks of dirt. I'll hand you this dirt while I go look for some more dirt. So you already know what to do with that dirt, uh, and I'm going to go look for some more dirt really quick, and it is time to eat. Your boy Stealth is hungry. He always has the munchies, and, you know, we got to keep our metabolism going here. So uh, let's see. We got plenty of saplings in here, so let me grab the rest of those saplings, and let's go see if Crazy Girl has any dirt. Hopefully she does because uh, she has an actual ravine underneath her house which is pretty cool something that um, uh, she likes to do is mine under her house she has a really really big ravine under her house so hopefully she has some dirt as well because we definitely need some dirt but if not uh, uh, we'll probably have to go look for some dirt so let's see she has plenty of wood uh, she has fishies she has some cool stuff over there uh, what's in here we have 18 blocks of dirt and some nether rack, so I'm not seeing much dirt in here. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go look for some dirt. So uh, that is not a big deal at all. Uh, that is fine. However, that does take some time away from uh, the actual parkour itself. So uh, sad, sad face, but uh, it's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We'll probably have to make a shovel. I don't have a diamond shovel yet because 
be <clears throat> I don't have a diamond shovel yet because I haven't really been doing any uh, too much digging in terms of getting dirt and sand and such so uh, we'll go ahead and make a um, an iron uh, iron shovel and then that way we can get more dirt uh, for this parkour over here so uh, let me go ahead and uh, just start working on this real quick and then we'll have to go get some more dirt uh, for this parkour so uh, in the meantime, at least we can have some saplings start to grow. So I think what I'll do is I will first of all fix this like so and then we will uh, probably start the parkour like right here. I think this is actually a good uh, like a good um, area to be for the parkour. So one, two, three, four. And you know what I just realized? We actually have a lot more rows than we, we didn't really need to. <laughs> we should have just done two rows. I don't know what I was thinking. So this actually might work out, Cody. Uh, this actually might work out. Let me go ahead and grab some of the dirt right now. I don't know why we're doing four rows. I was going a little crazy right now. So we actually might be okay. So let me go ahead and make a shovel and grab some of the dirt over here. I'll grab some of the dirt at the very end and you can start planting some saplings. Let me give you, uh, actually, yeah, let me give you some of the saplings and uh, I'll grab some of the dirt and then that way we could just start planting some of these trees. So yeah, I did get a little overboard with the dirt. So uh, we might be okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from under here and let's just start grabbing some of this dirt like so without drowning, of course. And we're going to try and plant some of these trees. I'm trying to just swim while making sure the dirt doesn't fall. Because the whole point is to get this dirt. And then that way uh, we can work on this ninja path. This ninja parkour for the horses. So, alright, I got some dirt right now. And we'll just rinse and repeat. Uh, and then plant some saplings. So, uh, we want to probably space them. We don't want to make it too easy, Cody. So, we'll have to space them uh, quite a bit. So, I'm thinking maybe another one like right here. And uh, we'll do, oh, look at that. It's already growing. This is perfect. Wow, this is so cool, man. All right, we'll probably have to space them a little bit further. Now that I'm looking at it, we probably want to go like maybe right here and then do like another one. And then we'll probably, is that too far away? Oh, whoa, whoa. These trees are growing super fast. Actually, that's a good range. That's a really good distance right there. So we'll probably do another one like uh, maybe right here and plant some saplings. Let's see what this looks like real quick. And you want to grow it? Okay, let's see. What do we got over here? That's a nice jump. That's a really decent jump. We'll do like a difficult jump uh, right over here. Let's do like a nice, a nice difficult one. Let's see if we can jump this one real quick. I'll put another one. Oh, one, two. Let me fix this. And four. Oh, you messed up too. <laughs> All right, you want to try it? Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what we got going on right here. That's not... You see, it, 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 it varies. That's the difficult part. The trees, the leaves vary. So uh, let me go ahead and grab some more dirt. Uh, Cody, if you wouldn't mind grabbing some of the dirt on the sides as well. And then that way we can just sort of finish up this parkour. So we're going to have to make it a little bit uh, more difficult as the as the parkour goes. So we're going to have to, you know, you know, change the distance between the trees and make it a little bit harder for the horses. Now luckily, you know, they won't really take any damage because if we fall, we fall into the water. So this is actually a really, really good parkour, especially for horses. So uh, yeah, let's just gr uh, grab the remainder of this dirt and uh, we will continue working on the parkour. So I have 40 blocks, uh, that should be good enough. And uh, let's continue and see what we can do uh, in terms of spacing uh, these saplings. So. Okay, I think the next one is going to be, what would what would you say, like maybe right here? Should we try right there? So we see if that's, is that too far away? Let's see. Hopefully it isn't. Hopefully, hopefully it isn't. Let's see. That's actually a good range. That's a perfect range right there. I like that jump right there. That's a really, really good jump. Uh, let's continue this way and we will try maybe even right here. Maybe like right here. Now, I'm not sure. This might be a bad idea, but we're going to try one two, three, four, and uh, let's try this one. Now, I'm not sure if we have enough saplings. The more I look at this, the more I'm starting to think we probably don't have enough saplings. So let's go ahead and see uh, what, what what's gonna happen over here. Now, I'm not sure if Cody has any more inside his house, uh, but I'll probably just use some of the bone meal over here. And I have 41 bones, uh, so let me go ahead and make another crafted table real quick. 
uh, like so. I'll move this over here, move that right there, and let's go ahead and make a uh, make a ton of bone meal real quick, and then that way we can grow these trees a little bit quicker. So let me go right here and bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, and that is a really that's that might be a little bit tough right there. That might be a little bit tough for a jump, but let's go ahead and uh, give it a test run. How about that? We give it a test run. Uh, we probably won't be able to test out this entire uh, parkour today. However, we'll probably start it off in the next episode. So we'll go ahead and demo this parkour and let's just make sure it's actually um, uh, basically a playable parkour. So it looks pretty good so far. I'm actually looking forward to this. And like I said, we're going to be doing more like mini games in the future. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And uh, leave your suggestions down below as well. Because I know a lot of you guys, you know, look forward to mini games. A lot of you play mini games like um, Hunger Games as well as Spleef and Sky Wars and, you know, Cops and Robbers. This is a ton of mini games uh, in Minecraft. So if you guys want to see more of that type of stuff, you know, leave your comments down below. Your suggestions, your recommendations are greatly appreciated. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a test run. Uh, let's try this out ghost and we'll probably have to do like a start area. We'll probably have to, I don't know, do like a start line right there uh, probably tomorrow or in the next episode. And let's try this real quick. Let's see if we, what we could do. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. All right, it's going to get more difficult. I think we're going to have to space them out some more. But uh, in terms of like uh, range, uh, I think it's overall consistent. So yeah, the last trees are going to have to be spaced a ton. So maybe like one, maybe like two trees left. Honestly, we'd probably have like two trees left and that would probably be it. So this is going to be pretty cool and we'll have to like jump like this. Oh man, this is going to be cool. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like going this way a little bit more, but um, hopefully you guys did. Oh man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you smash that like rating and I will see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye. Bye guys. Want new Minecraft videos and you already know what to do? Uh, hit my homeboy Stealth up, he's the coolest guy on YouTube Man, TNT runs a parkour and his videos are so live Man, you know you wanna be a ninja, so go ahead and subscribe uh.